Hello, Douglas County. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of Douglas County's COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, the District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Rick. Hey, you look fabulous out there at the mass vaccination site at Arbor Place here in Douglas County. What are the current COVID-19 numbers in Douglas County? And is there anything new that you uh, can tell us about the COVID variant? Yeah, so we have um, 9,077 cases right now in Douglas County from last night um, for COVID. Um, but um, the, the rate that we're looking at is 334 cases per 100,000. So that has come down very nicely, but now our progress has slowed a little bit. So remember 100 cases per 100,000 is considered high and we're at 334, so very high. We have lost 193 people in Douglas to, um, to COVID. And so that number keeps creeping up on us as well, And but it is slowing down, so that's good news. Now, in the background of all of this is the variant. And so um, we have the, B, um, the B117 variant. There was, uh, when I last checked it yesterday, it was 171 cases in Georgia. Now, we do now have three cases of the South African variant, all right? So that is very concerning. So we have both variants that are happening. And remember, they only test for a small portion of these um, tests, like 2%. And so this is a huge undercount. So, you know, in my perspective, we're in a race right now to vaccinate as many folks as we can and to um, do it before the variant um, gets too much um, steam and takes over. Okay, so we need to really stay vigilant. Uh, in terms of wearing our mask, maintaining social distancing, and yes. constantly washing our hands, right? Yeah, so give, yes, do all those prevention measures to give us time to get as many folks vaccinated as we can. Okay, great. What are the details regarding who is now eligible? I understand Governor Kemp held a news conference earlier this week. Yeah, so we're opening up our eligibility. So we got a lot of activity out here right now at Arbor Place. So we know of our original group of our healthcare workers and our nursing home residents and staff. And um, we added on the 65 and older and, and public safety. And then this week we have added on our educators. So we're out here for a special visit um, to um, vaccinate our Douglas County school system educators. Now on Monday, we get even bigger with that group. And so 55 and older will be eligible. But then also um, people with some disabilities as well as some um, um, medical conditions are also eligible. So you can go to the DPH website to get all of those, but they include being immunocompromised, but also if you have diabetes or are considered overweight or obese and also various lung conditions. So please go on online and take a look at that and then you will be eligible to sign up for next week and that's coming just in a few days so oh that's great news to hear speaking of vaccinations what can you tell us about covid19 vaccinations in douglas county and what do you know about the johnson and johnson vaccine in particular yeah so in douglas county just at our place mall we've done over six thousand vaccines now we are not the only game in town, so I encourage everybody to, to you know, look for appointments on the DPH website or go to a GEMA site as well. We need as many folks vaccinated as possible, and we don't, you know, get enough vaccines to, to even be at full capacity here. So Johnson & Johnson also got introduced this week, so I want to make sure everybody knew about that. The first allotment that um, the governor has um, given out are going to educators, so they're going to different areas around the state. Um, to be able to ed um, vaccinate educators and staff. Now, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that because I know there's a lot of questions about the Johnson Johnson vaccine. Yes. It is a one dose vaccine and um, the efficacy is about 73% in the United States, right? So people may be asking, okay, well, you know, 73% versus a 90 something percent for Pfizer and Moderna. So yeah, so it, it, has a lower efficacy for transmission of COVID-19, right? Getting COVID, but it is almost near perfect when we look at death and hospitalizations that it prevents. That is extremely important, and that is what we're actually looking at and what we need. It's a very, very good vaccine, and so we recommend whatever vaccine you can get. Don't hold out for you know vaccines and search for months and months. 
get the vaccine that's available to you. It's an excellent, excellent vaccine. So the big news when it comes to vaccines to answer a lot of Douglas County citizens' questions pertaining to which vaccine to get, really just get the one you can get as soon as you can, right? Absolutely, and then it gets, it gets us closer to having normalcy again. Great. Dr. Meemark, I hear there's some new CDC guidelines. Did you want to share? Yeah, so, so there's some hope here. So if you're fully vaccinated, um, which means two weeks after the second dose of Moderna or Pfizer or after the first dose of, or the one dose of Johnson & Johnson, you um, you don't have to wear a mask around other um, vaccinated folks. So um, yeah, Superintendent North and I are wearing our masks, but we, we don't have to necessarily. And if you go and visit unvaccinated people that are lower risk in like the same household, you don't also you don't also have to wear your mask to physically distance, okay? But be careful if somebody has an underlying condition that puts them at risk, there's still a risk. And it's also, there's still a five to, um, you know, uh, what, 28% risk, 27% risk that you could still get COVID, even vaccinated. So please protect those folks that need help. And also, now, if you are in a close contact situation, um, you don't have to. You don't have to um, uh, quarantine. So that's great. So, but that's only if you remain asymptomatic. If you develop any symptoms that look like COVID, you need to quarantine, and then you need to get yourself tested. So, new guidelines have some hope that we can um, get back out into society again. So that's great. Oh, that is great. That is great. Let's get Mr. North on camera. Yes, Mr. North. Yes, sir. I understand. I understand. We have uh, teachers are getting vaccinated today. I am so excited. I am here with Dr. Meemark and her team, and her team and my team. We partnered to uh, begin the vaccination process for our staff today. We will vaccinate approximately 810 uh, employees of the Douglas County School System. We will start again tomorrow, same location, and we're looking to vaccinate close to 800 again tomorrow. That would put us in the Douglas County school system with a vaccination rate at approximately 58%. And so we're steadily trying to educate and encourage. Uh, while we recognize choice, we want to make sure that at least when people are making the decision, that it is an informed choice. So we're excited and very appreciative to Dr. Mimo Mark and her team. Oh man, that's great to hear. So vaccinations today and tomorrow. Yes, sir. We're taking the Pfizer uh, Pfizer uh, vaccination. And so it'll be today and tomorrow. And then the follow-up for our parents will be in uh, in April. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Is there anything else, Dr. Meemark or Mr. North, you'd like to share with the citizens of Douglas County? You know, Dr. Meemark made a very valid point. When when I was saying follow-up for our parents, Dr. Meemark is correct. While our teachers will be taking the vaccination, I like to let our parents know because uh, we're taking it on a Friday and Saturday. And I know that when we take the vaccine on Friday, that has an impact on our community. So I want to thank our parents and our uh, for their support, for being flexible with the Douglas County School System, for being understanding. We are trying and have tried very hard to offer the highest quality of education possible. We started off in September offer, offering face-to-face -face Monday through Thursday. And our parents have overwhelmingly been very supportive. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's great. Dr. Meemark, anything else before we close from you? Yeah, I just um, I want to say that, you know, so thank you to everybody. And so here are the things right now. So we are racing against the variant right now, right? So get whatever vaccine you can get wherever you can get it. Just get the vaccine. If you are not getting it for whatever reason, you got to continue to do the prevention measures of wearing your mask, washing your hands and distancing until we get enough people vaccinated that we all feel safer. But in the meantime, let's all get our vaccinations as soon as we can. That is great. Dr. Meemark, Mr. North, I can't thank you both enough. Please have a great day. Thank, thank you. you.